I'm not in favor of passing a climate bill that's so watered down that it's not worth passing. I want a climate bill that the atmosphere will actually notice. Um, but I do think that in order to achieve a climate bill, uh, everybody on all sides needs to climb down a little bit. I think environmentalists need to accept that we at least have to maintain uh, our current level of nuclear generation at 20%, uh, and we're going to have to build some nuclear power plants in order to do that. That's just one example. Um, there are other profoundly uncomfortable things that people are going to have to swallow if we want to get this done. But if we believe that the problem is real, as I do, I think it's important to, to make some of those compromises as long as they don't destroy the environmental effectiveness of the bill. I describe Rahm Emanuel in the book as a, a very political guy, no surprise there, uh, a strategist who is interested in preserving presidential power across an eight-year arc. Uh, and if he doesn't think something is winnable, he's not willing to take it on. He sits down with, uh, with the leaders from a very important coalition called USCAP, the United States Climate Action Partnership, uh, comprised of Fortune 500 uh, CEOs and environmental leaders who are pushing for a cap. And uh, in the spring of 2009, Rahm Emanuel says to them, uh, you know, we'd like to get this done, but success breeds success. And if this bill gets stalled, we're going to go on to health care. Uh, now, the bill didn't get stalled. It passed, but they went on to health care anyway. My point is that it would have taken a sustained White House effort on three levels to get this done. It would have taken White House intervention on the level of public communication, such as I've been describing. It would have taken serious policy making when they passed the Clean Air Act amendments mm -hmm. of 1990. The, the, the Bush administration uh, spent 10 weeks solving very serious pu public policy problems state by state to get that thing done, a level of engagement that the White House has not shown, the Obama White House has not shown on this issue. Uh, and the third one, is old-fashioned politicking. If he had begun doing that after taking office, we would be in a different place now, in my view. We would be in a place where we weren't 10 votes shy, necessarily. Maybe we would be five votes shy, but we would be, I believe, within striking distance of getting this done. Instead, we've seen the, the window of opportunity slam shut, and now the question isn't, can we get through the window? It's, can Obama open the window again and then get through it?